Hi everyone, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have seen at before each annotation. So we use at before annotation to mark a method that should execute it before each test method in a test class. Now in this lecture, we are going to see at after each annotation. Well, at after each annotation is one of the JUnit lifecycle annotation, and this annotation mark a method that should be executed after each test method. So this at after each annotation works in the opposite way to at before each annotation. This annotation tells JUnit to run a method right after each test method finishes. The purpose of this at after each annotation is to clean up after each test. Next, this is useful for cleaning up the test environment such as resetting the variables or closing the connections. For example, let us say if the test method opens a file or a database connection, the at after each annotation is where we would close that file or a connection. This ensures that no leftover data or resources carry over to the next test. So this helps maintain a clean state between the test methods. Okay. Next, let us go ahead and let's understand at after each annotation with example. So let's head over to our project in IntelliJ IDEA. And here we have a before each demo test class. Let's copy it and paste in the annotations package. And let's give name as after each demo test, something like that. Click on OK. Next, in previous lecture, we have used at before each annotation to mark a method that should be executed before each test method. Now let us see how to use at after each annotation to mark a method that should execute after each test method. So here, let me create a method. So make sure that the method return type should be wide. And let's give method name as tear down. So we typically give the method name that we annotate with at after each annotation should be tear down. And then Let's annotate this method with at after each annotation. A should be capital. And make sure that you choose at after each annotation from org JUnit Jupyter API package. Within this method, we typically write a code to clean up the resources. In this example, we don't have the resources like file closing or database connection, but here we do have an object of the calculator class. So let us assign a null to this calculator class object so that the you know calculator class should be null before each and every test case so this ensures that the calculator object state should be clear before each and every test okay so just to make sure that this tear down method execute after each test method we'll keep the system dot statement over here so just copy this sys out and paste it over here and just change this let's give tear down method calling okay next let us go ahead and let's run the test class and let us check the result test passed for and look at here the logs in the console setup method calling divide test method calling and after that tear down method calling Next, setup method calling, add test method calling, after that, tear down method calling. Setup, test case, tear down. Setup, test case, tear down. Okay, it means the tear down method we marked with at after each annotation is executing after each test method. Okay, so this statements, these statements clearly demonstrates that the setup method is, you know, calling before each and every test method in a test class. And this tear down method is calling after each and every test method in a test class. Well, whenever you want to mark a method that should execute after each test method in a test class, then you can go ahead and annotate that method with at after each annotation. And this at after each annotation is pretty useful whenever you want to close the database connections or close a file. Okay. So basically, we write a logic within this method to clean up the resources so that each and every test method get a clean state. Okay, great. In next lecture, we will see at before all annotation. Alright, great. I will see you in the next lecture.